Welcome to Sideboard here at the Las Vegas Legacy Open. I'm Glenn Jones. I'm here with Wes Wise. Hello. How's it going, Wes? I'm doing well. How are you? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, for those of you at home, Wes is a, uh, a buyer here at StarCityGames.com, and he's also a competitor from time to time. He managed to top eight one of the Opens the last time we were in the city. We both did, in fact, yeah, the same one. Uh, who beat you that tournament? The winner, or no, the second place guy. Uh, I can't remember his name. Who beat hand. you in the Swiss that tournament? Uh, Wesley Wise <laughs> did yeah, actually defeat go. me in a lopsided... <laughs> Lopsided match. All right. Well, after that brief rubbins, we're going to talk about the legacy deck that you played today, uh, which it looks like you got a little shardless bug in your jund, a little bug, a little jund in your shardless bug. You know, uh, just mixing things up. Uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to cascade today. Like, okay. I uh, just the appeal of like Bloodbraid Elf into Shardless Agent into whatever other spell I hit is it was a lot of fun. I. Uh, at the last Invitational, Jerry was like, does anyone have Boom Bust? I want to play Blood Raid off of Boom Bust. And I'm like, oh, God, I want to do that, too. And I, I found Boom Bust today, and then I later realized why he didn't really do it. It just wasn't performing the way I wanted okay. way I wanted it to. Like, a lot of the matchups, like, I played against Rug and, and Bug today, and I, it just it, it never was where I really wanted it to be. I'd much rather have the, the cards on my sideboard. I, I have liked Blood Raid off a lot. Blood Raid off's a good one. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so in addition to Boom Bust, you've basically mixed the elements that were in the Shardless Bug deck. You've got Ancestral Vision and Shardless Agent uh, with you know, him to Torox, which you're really just getting a lot of card advantage. Have you found the games going like just long and you eventually outcarding the opponent? Yeah. Uh, I imagine you're not winning any of them like really fast. No, no. Uh, they're, all, they're all super grindy. Okay. Um, like, generally... Uh, you have to resolve an ancestral visions. You have to cascade a couple of times. You have, to, yeah, like you said, you just have to outcard them. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, to that end, you have also included a, a life from the loam, which with your wastelands and just fetchlands in general, I think that card's catching on in Jund as like one of the best ways to even be in the mirror match. So, right, uh, makes sense to see it here. Yeah, I figured the deck was already so, so bad against wasteland in general. Like, yeah, you just have to have a, some out to it. Has it been like a problem in your matches that Wasteland is just cutting you off your colors? I mean, you have Deathrite Shaman, so it doesn't seem like it would be so bad, but obviously if he's alive, usually things are looking pretty good anyway. Right, right. That, yeah, I mean, Deathrite Shaman usually dies immediately. <laughs> uh, if, it, if it doesn't, then yeah, it, it looks pretty good for me. All right. Um, but uh, most of mostly Life from the Lone's actually just been me recurring Wastelands and killing their lands. Uh, sure. Do you think maybe, uh, I know you've got one in the sideboard, like, do you think that sh maybe should be, like, a larger part of the deck? Like, maybe you run an intuition or something like that? No, I don't, like, I think I think that one is probably the proper number for the for the main deck. Okay. Uh, and then, obviously, one more in the sideboard just to have outs against, like, the, the stifle, stifle right. plants. And like that. Alongside the Life from the Loam, you also have a Singleton Creeping Tarpet as a sort of a bullet kill. Has that card actually performed reasonably well? It seems fine when you've got things like him to just grind them out of cards, as we discussed. Uh, a little more awkward when you might be on a Wasteland plan, might be on a Boom Bust plan. So have you been using the Creeping Tarpet, or has it just been sort of like a break glass in case of emergency card? For yeah, you? It's, it's, it's been pretty much that. Uh, it hasn't actually been activated yet today. Okay. Um, still time, Creeping Tarpet. Still but time. like we said, the, the games are supposed to be really, really grindy, and if you yeah. just get in a situation to where you can't gain any sort of advantage and you still have you know that out. In a Tarmogoyf standoff it seems fine to just be able to activate Tarpit and get in there a few times. Yeah, exactly. Uh, were there any other utility lands you considered? Like anything spicy? Like a Vorash Stronghold or something crazy? Or were uh, you mostly just... I mean the mana base is already really greedy. <laughs> so so throwing in like a Vorash Stronghold or something like that just seemed just seemed a little bit over the top. I mean, I won't be satisfied until a Keswick Wolf run shows up in Legacy. So. <laughs> I mean we could have made that happen <laughs> We could have made that you, you happen today. Me. Uh, we'll moving on to the sideboard, it looks like mostly conventional fare. You've got the mind break traps for the just, this is all in, this is where we're shoving uh, against the combo decks. It's kind of nice that you can actually cast it as opposed to most Jund decks, which right. obviously don't have that option. Uh, and then you've got the full amount of thought seizes, uh, some more removal in the abrupt case of Maelstrom pulses. Have you found yourself bringing in the thought seizes frequently in sideboard yeah. games? Yeah, uh, yep, I bring them in almost every match. <laughs> Okay. Uh, they probably probably should have been main. I think in the future maybe cut the boom bust and, and just main deck the thought seizes. But uh, I don't know. And I also needed a counter spell I couldn't cascade into. That's also cool. true. Yeah. yeah. A trick for my break trap is that you cannot cascade into it. Good looking out. All right, Wes. Well, I appreciate you giving us your look at 
uh, four color cascade here, a little different from the ones we've seen previously. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Let's get back to the tournament.